started distributing a thousand full-color posters of the eight who were killed in cold blood. The words matching the direct visual connection with the faces. Do you know who murdered us on April 22, 2016? It's something, said Tony Roden. With the killer still out here somewhere, he declined to appear on camera, but told us it'll make you feel like you're doing something. In this case, you have to believe in somebody. I got to believe in the system. As family members, we have to believe in somebody. Eight people across three families, ranging in age from 44 to 16, all shot in the head in what investigators termed meticulously planned executions. I was saying this morning, after you called, I thought, they're still out there, they can do this again. Pastor Phil Fulton knows the family and the connective power of putting faces to a tragedy. When they see pictures, uh, young people, uh, moms, dad, that these lives were taken, maybe it'll just bring somebody and stir something in somebody's heart. The family will spread the posters across Waverly, Adams County, Scioto County, and beyond. The first of them went up today at Big Bear Lake Family Resort. As the one-year anniversary approaches, there is a haunting sense of mystery along rural Union Hill Road. It's frustrating, allowed Roden. We have to stick together and comfort each other. It's not that people haven't stopped talking about it, but I think people's got to a place that they think, well, will it ever be solved? It'll come, Roden said with a hopeful nod to the posters. I really believe that. It might take a year or it might take 10 years, but it'll come. Investigators haven't said much, only that they believe there is more than one killer and that they knew the lay of the family land. In Pike County, John London, WWT News 5.